hard speed ramp inside the Ventures of 20. You can start out by highlighting your media and pressing Ctrl or Command R or just right click on the media file and select Retime Control. So I'm right clicking and selecting Retime Control and then you're gonna see your media looking like this. You can add a speed point by moving further with your timeline playhead and selecting this drop down menu right here and selecting add speed point. Then you can move further into your media and do the same adding another speed point from the same place. Then when we look closely you can move the lower handle of that speed point in order to change its location or you can grab the upper part of that speed point which is right here and also maneuver left and right and this time it will change the speed of that speed ramp. Further apart means slower and closer means faster. Then when we got this out of the way you can head over to the new keyframe editor which is right here and here at the bottom you will see your keyframes added from your retime control. Next you want to make sure that the icon next to retime speed is highlighted and I will show you why just in a minute and then you can head over here and click this icon right here that way you're opening this tool and then we're going to expand it from clicking here. Now you have this keyframe editor on the side on a different window and then as you can see you're having also other keyframes that you can work with but we're not going to use these ones so we're going to disable them from here. Right now on the preview we are just seeing the two keyframes that we have just recently created and you can double check that by scrolling here down and see that only retime speed is highlighted and if you're having simultaneously other keyframes you can enable them and disable them here from the same icon on the left onto the metric. Now I'm going to highlight both of my keyframes here in the keyframe editor which you're seeing on the top. And as I just mentioned, this left one is representing this left speed point that we have just added on the left side. And this right one right here is representing this second keyframe that we added. And these are just hard cuts. If you want to make them smoother, the easiest way is to highlight both of them just like this. Now I'm having both of them highlighted. And then you can head over to this menu right here and select easing in and out. And that way, as you can probably tell, our curves are even smoother and more gradual, making our cuts a little bit more representable. And as always, you can grab those handles and make them even more gradual. Also, you can leave those keyframe editor window on a different screen if you're using multiple screens. And from here, this handle, you can zoom in and out of your timeline keyframe editor so you can have a better look on the keyframes. In here, by selecting the pointer mode, you can readjust by grabbing this side and making them even go faster or slower so you can apply different kind of changes that you have missed on your editing on your edit page. Something very important is also having another keyframe icon right here and by highlighting it you can go over moving your timeline playhead into this keyframe editor and selecting over the lines that way you're adding additional keyframes onto this timeline and then you can head over again to the pointer right here and then you can grab this inner part of these second keyframes and make them even faster or slower. That was the fundamentals of adding a speed ramp in the Ventures of version number 20. I hope this video was helpful. You can also watch this video right here. I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.